Hey there, and welcome back. Today is a perfect day for doing some stretches. I hope you learned something from our last session about meditation. Last time was pretty relaxing, uh, but you don't want to get too relaxed before actually exercising. You might end up falling asleep. We wouldn't want that, even if you have a cute sleeping face. Uh, anyway, let's get started, shall we? Let's liven things up with a little music first. Mmm, good. Okay. Now, let's talk a little about stretching. Stretching is a good to do before any exercising or hero training. You don't want to hurt yourself because you overextended the capabilities of your own muscles. It's quite common, for example, when people do yoga to actually hurt themselves getting out of the position rather than into it, so it's good to make yourself nice and limber before taking on any sort of exercise, whether it's moderate or intense. We're going to get through this together, so we can both try aiming for a healthier lifestyle. <sighs> now, before we start stretching, we need to start breathing correctly to get the blood pumping and the lungs open. If you're not already sitting, take a seat on the floor. Make sure you have plenty of space for when we start stretching in a moment. But for now, get yourself comfortable. If you remember your posture from our last session, you should sit with your legs crossed if you can, back straight, and shoulders rolled back. After that, all you need to do is start breathing. So, take a deep breath in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In. And out. Yeah. Keep breathing. Take it at your own pace, but try to feel your breath expanding in your diaphragm. Deep breaths. In. And out. You're doing a good job. Just a little more. In and out. In and out. And one last inhale and exhale, and then you're done. Wonderful. You're pretty amazing. I get lightheaded sometimes doing breathing exercises, so I know that it's something I need to work on. But for now, let's get started with those stretches, shall we? We're going to be stretching our legs first. Take the time to slowly extend your legs out, spread apart as much as possible, while still within the realms of your own personal comfort. 
No need to do the splits, after all. But if you can, <laughs> well, more power to you. Pretty plus ultra of you. Once your legs are spread, you're going to reach out, bend over, and touch your right toes with both hands. Reach for it. If you can't touch it, it's perfectly fine. Now, count to ten with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, release and pull back to your original position. What we're going for here is a taut sensation in the back of your leg. It lets you know you're starting to get bendy. If you're not used to stretching, it can feel pretty uncomfortable. Don't hurt yourself, but remember, no pain, no gain. Now, do the same to your left leg. Reach out, bend over, and touch your left toes this time, and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and release. <sighs> Good job. Now, we'll bend forward between our legs and stretch out and touch the floor as far away as we can to stretch out our back as well. Now, count to ten just like before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release, back to the starting position. Feel anything yet? Well, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna do all of that two more times. So, reach out, touch your right toes, and count to ten. And then do the same for the left, then the middle. Go ahead. Okay, hopefully you're close to finishing the second set. One more to go. All right, if you're not quite done yet, make sure to wrap things up soon. Once you finish, slowly rise to your feet and shake it off. You've done well so far. The next part we're going to be working on will be our upper body, now that you've gotten your legs all squared away. A really easy exercise and stretch to do is twist. When you do a twist, 
You stand with your legs spread apart to match your hips and raise your arms up and out to the sides. You can keep them fully extended, or you can bend your elbows and make fists in front of your chest as long as your upper arms are raised to the sides. Then, keeping our feet firmly planted and your legs in place, twist at the waist as far to the left and right as possible at a steady pace, going back and forth. You can even do an extra little pulse at the end to get some extra twist in before going the opposite direction. One complete left-to-right twist counts as one rep. So, start off easy. Complete ten first. And twist. Keep it up. Good job. I love the energy. Keep those arms parallel to the floor. Let's do one more set of twists to make it 20. And you should be able to feel it in your arms from keeping them elevated, as well as in your waist. Just a little more. And... done. Whew. Amazing job there. Lower your arms and take in some deep breaths. You know, there are plenty of more stretches you can do, but these are great starters to get you flexible for some serious exercise. I suggest looking up some more and adding it to your routine before you take on any strenuous physical activity. But for now, Make sure to drink some water. I'll see you next time, so we can start our training routine. <laughs> see you later.